Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to look at Ethereum today because the market is crashing. So I'm going to do a quick update. I do promise you this one will be under 15 minutes. So if you love the sound of that, let me know. Hit the like button. Let me know if you want to see shorter videos. I have been doing a lot between that 20 and 30 minute mark. There's just a lot to cover. But today we're going under 15 minutes. Now I want to draw your attention to Ethereum. This video here five days ago, Ethereum three and a half thousand. Check out this five year ETH pattern. We're going to cover that again because it's important to note and then of course if you guys are wanting to know more about Bitcoin and indicators check out this video here must watch Bitcoin I'll leave a link to these at the end of this video if you want to jump across and have a look at those thank you very much for 108,000 we're nearly at 110,000 subscribers and I know you're loving the technical analysis and you're learning a lot so that's fantastic cryptocurrency market cap 1.9 trillion we saw it hit 2 trillion thereabouts depending on you're looking here or coin gecko getting to that two trillion market cap now maybe we've seen some psychological test on that and just you know come back a little maybe it's bitcoin and i think it's got a lot to do with bitcoin which is still trading over a trillion dollars now we're here for ethereum coming back up to test two thousand dollars again so we are growing slowly with ethereum that's a good thing if we start shooting up to the moon too soon then we just blow up that's it. We head, head to the top, we come back down. So nice gradual gains is consistent over time. Uh, it's going to give us better gains over time, I should say. So just don't be in a rush. Next hour, if this thing goes down, doesn't matter. Let's look at the pattern, let's look at the charts and follow it from there. Ethereum on the Google Trends is which color here? We're looking at blue for Ethereum. It has gone up in the last, well, a few days ago, and it's just starting to creep up again now. Whereas NFTs are on the drop and crypto is on the rise. So crypto and Ethereum moving up, NFTs are looking like they're just having a little bit of a cool down, which is a good thing to keep them on the sideline. Just remember the ones that did really well and they've got a great use case. And then as the price comes down, that's the times to be looking to buy in, not when the prices are skyrocketing to their new, well, to the peaks of their all time highs. All right, Twitter, come across, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. I'm doing an interview with TVK uh, CTO tonight and I'll post this up next week. So ask your questions there. If you have some questions about TVK, drop it down there, let us know. Let's take a look at Ethereum. So that video I just showed you on the channel covers these cycles. Now I say it's a five year pattern because we can go back to around May of 2016, nearly five years on Ethereum. And basically these patterns are about six months in time frame. So basically we're, we're counting in weeks, the lows to the highs, and then from the highs to the breakout point because what we want to know is how long do we have in a bull market? So how long do we have for that price to go from its absolute bottom to its absolute top? And then if we happen to fall, you know, happen to buy the top and the market drops against us, how long do we have to wait until we come back to that top price? Now, this is only going to work if you're buying within the, the bull cycle. So it doesn't work. Well, it, I'll say it doesn't work if you buy the top and then you know the all-time high and then you have to wait until it breaks that top again. So it's not that it doesn't work, it's just that you bought at the wrong time in the cycle. So always check out a chart. See this here, if you bought the all-time high in January of 2018, you would have to wait until what it was about February this year, January or February of 2021, so it's about three years later before you saw any sort of return on your Ethereum. So what I'm looking at here is just make sure you check the charts, how many times this market has run up. Like we saw with the previous cycle in 20, uh, call it 2017 into early 2018. So the 2017 cycle, we saw it move twice. We got about a six month up, uh, six months, uh, well, just short of six months from the top to the next breakout. And then it was a six months from the bottom to the next all time high. Not including this here, which looks like a fat finger day, it just absolutely tanked that doesn't look right uh, correct data maybe it was a fraction that sold at that price and then it was all the way back up but looking here from the next all-time or oh, the major low after the cycle was december 2018 now that top into january or uh, june of 2019 about 28 weeks so just a little longer than six months then we go top 
to the next breakout 23 weeks, so a little shorter than six months. Go from the bottom, the COVID crash, to the top, which was the next accumulation area after it broke all of these highs around $300. So Ethereum broke the highs at 300, got to around 400, 420, 450, came back and retested. That was 25 weeks, so basically six months again. Then we saw the low. Now I put this on my, my YouTube community page as well, so you guys can go back and check this out. This was a few weeks ago. You know we've been tracking this since February 24 or somewhere around that date. We had 25 weeks, we looked at that. Now we had the bottom to the top, 24 weeks, so a week or two short of the six months. That was from the bottom in August to the top that we saw in February. So about six months there again. Now, we've seen two moves already and we saw that back in 2017. We saw two moves and then it was over. But this time looks like we may get a third leg out of this. And if we don't, we know why it was this, but we'll have to know when to get out of uh, Ethereum closer to these tops. So we've got some weekly lows if it happens to break down. Around that 1300 level is still looking quite safe for Ethereum. We're using our FIB extension or our FIB trend based tool here as well. Basically a major low, major top, and then we projected off the low, but the 50% came onto the 50% 50, uh, 50 level was around the $1,300 level. So looking back at these time frames before we move on to the price, we have top to the breakout 11 weeks. So you might be wondering, well, that's 11, the rest of these are closer to six months. We have another 11 week time frame here. And all we're doing is just going through the chart to have a look for time frames which are repeating. Now, if I use 11 weeks onto around that 23 or 24 weeks, it's not exactly half of that, but you know, 11 and 11 is 22. You know, we're starting to move numbers and play with them a little bit, but we've seen 11 weeks in Ethereum before. So it does do these six months or these sort of three month moves. I'm calling 11 weeks about that three months, just short of three months. And that helps us because uh, that helps us understand that the market is speeding up. So we saw a 23 week, and then we saw an 11 week. See this top to breakout, top to breakout. So as these speed up, timeframes get shorter. It's the same as using these FIB tool uh, extensions on price, where we look for 50% in price, we're looking for 50% in time. 23 weeks, half of that, about 11 and a half weeks. So there we go, half of that time. That's why I was looking at this time up here, this breakout, to be around five to 11 weeks because we're in the bull market. So I expect it to run a lot faster uh, than we than we see it when it's in, when it's not in a bull market, when it's just in a consolidation period. So that's why I was looking at five to 11 weeks. We posted about it. We've been talking about it for weeks now. And what do we see? Top to this breakout is six weeks. So it's within our range. That's looking good. If we don't get a breakout here and we fall back into this accumulation range, no big drama, then I'll be expecting another few weeks in this range, uh, which takes us to 11 weeks. I've got here around 13, because that gives us the three months, in around early to mid-May. So not such a bad thing overall. And of course, overall, the second quarter of the year, historically speaking for cryptocurrency, is uh, more of a bullish time. That's just historically, it doesn't mean it has to happen every time, but in terms of the numbers, it has happened more often than not. So we're into quarter two now, we're in April, May, June, that's our quarter two of the year. Looks like we could be moving up a little more from this point. We've got our first breakout. I wanna see more volume come into this market like we saw back in, where are we at? January, late December, January, that pushed the market through the $700 level quite cleanly. And we got that volume come in. We haven't got that yet, so it wouldn't surprise me if we did just get some sort of flash crash scare to take out some of these lows, test some of these hodlers down this way, see if anyone's gonna sell, get a nice big volume bar like we saw back on the 20, what was that, 22nd of February. Yep, back here and where it tested the 50%, bang on, another good level, and uh, then get the volume and then we start to move again. So if I just recorrect this line here, actually we're gonna move, get rid of that one and use this here. Nope, this one. Let's bring this to the top and that will then show us our 50% level is still sitting at around $1,300. So that's still a bullish support level, 15, the 50% FIB on our extension tool. A lot of, some people use the moving average. The FIBs work a lot better and uh, I just like it because it, it's just been proven for such a long time. 
and we can use it to get price targets as well. So we can use the extension of the fibs. Now the other level, 1169, 1170, call it that, is also another bullish support level, but I'm not sure whether we'll get that far down this time. As I said, 1300, 1400, not too bad if we get a flash crash. Otherwise, that 1550, which we have just tested uh, two weeks ago, looks like it could hold unless we get a quick flash and back above. Basically, what I'm saying is here, here is I'm still bullish Ethereum. The time frames are still working out. The price targets are still working out. The price support levels are still in play. I would get worried if we broke down and stayed beneath these levels of 1300. So it would be something like falling and then we come back underneath and test that and we get weakness. You know, we get a big volume test underneath and then we happen to fall and break this low. That is what a bearish case looks like. Currently, we're not seeing a bearish case. We're just seeing a slow move without the volume. So we want, we want to get some volume back in, some accumulation. If we accumulate for a couple of weeks, take off, great. We're getting a volume on the breakout. That's where we should get it. The breakout or the test, we're good to go. Ethereum, all on track. I'll leave the videos at the end of this video if you want to go and check those out to understand what it is that we're doing here in terms of our time frames and our pricing. But I think we have covered it pretty well in this video. Again, uh, Bitcoin, I'll leave that video at the end of this one as well, which I mentioned just back here. It's got a yellow thumbnail. That's important to watch. Look at this indicator. Look at how to use the 50% to your advantage. Check out those videos at the end of this one. I'll catch you guys on Twitter. Follow me over there. Jump into the questions on TVK and that will be out next week. Subscribe to the channel, like the video up. Investor Accelerator, get your 12 month membership before the price goes up at the end of this week. It was supposed to go up last week, but I had a lot of you guys emailing me asking if I can extend it. And this is the time frame that we're extending it to. So make sure you jump on that before the price increases. Link is in the description as well, the video description down there. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you once again. Until then, have more fun to get more done.